Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I am going to show you how to quickly create barcodes in Excel. Now, if you're using the new Excel, which is Excel with Microsoft 365, then you can do this with a very simple formula. And if you're using an older version, then you will have to install a font and generate barcodes. So in this video, I'm going to show you both of these methods. So let's see how these work. So here I have this data where I have these product IDs and I want to generate a barcode that when scanned will give me this product ID. So I'm going to generate these barcodes here in column F and I'm going to use a new function which is the image function. Now because this is a new function it is only available in Excel with Microsoft 365 and Excel on the web. So if you are not using this version if you're using an older version of Excel then you won't have this function then in that case you can use the second method I'm going to cover in this video. Now within the image function we need to specify the URL where the barcode is going to be generated and we are then going to fetch the barcode here in the cell. So I'm going to use this URL here which is this one where I use this website called barcodeapi.org and let me quickly take you to this website. So this is the website. Now you do not have to go to this website. You just have to be in Excel. I'm just going to use the URL of this site. Now this is a free site that you can use to generate any number of barcodes and here we are going to use the API which means that when I use the image function it is going to make an API call which goes to the website generates the barcode there and then image function is going to fetch the image of that barcode here in the cell. Now here you'll see I have code 128. Now code 128 is a type of barcode. It's a type of encoding that generates a type of barcode. Another popular one is code 39. So based on your requirement, you can make the changes here. As of now, I'm going to generate code 20, 128, but you can change this to code 39 if you want. And now as of now, it doesn't have the information on what the barcode should be. So I'm going to add it. So I'm going to use an ampersand and then refer to this cell here, which is cell A2. So now it has the entire URL in in the end, it has the data for which, for which it needs to generate the barcode. So now when I hit enter, you can see it instantly gives me this. Now, in your case, it might take a couple of seconds because I already tried it. So it already has this in the cache. So it's, it quickly generated it. But in your case, it might first show you busy for maybe one or two seconds and then get the barcode. And now I can copy this formula down and you can see it has generated all the barcodes for me. Now I have tested these barcodes. So I used my phone camera to test and check all these barcodes and these are working perfectly. You can try it on your own as well. I will give you this file in the description so you can download it from there. Now, if you want to change the barcode, you can come here. If you want to create a barcode 39, then you can change this to 39 here and it will change your barcode a little based on the kind of barcode format you're using. And then again, you can test it out. So it is going to work perfectly. Now, in this case, as of now, these are images. And if you want to download all these images on your system, then you can do that as well. Now, instead of downloading them one by one, which you can do. So if you want to just download these five images and you only have a couple of barcodes, a simple way would be to you right click here and then you can go to picture in cell, click on create reference and then right click and then you go to save as picture. So you can save this picture wherever you want. But if you have a lot of QR, a lot of these barcodes and you want to uh, download them and have these images in one go, here is a fast way to do this. Go to the file tab, then click on save as then go to browse and we are going to save this as an HTML. So I have I am in the downloads folder already and now I'm going to look for HTML which is here, which is webpage.htm.html. And now I'm going to save this. Now, when I'm going to save this, it is going to download this Excel file as an HTML file, which downloads all the images separately. So if I go to the downloads folder here, you can see I have this barcode files. And when I click on this, you can see I have all these images. So all the barcodes have been saved as PNG images. So if you have hundreds of barcodes or even tens of barcodes, then you can quickly, instead of doing it one by one, save them as an HTML file so that you get all the images in one go. Now, if you're not using uh, the new Excel, which is Excel with Microsoft 365, you will not have the image function. So now you have two options. One is you can use Google Sheets if you have access to it and you're allowed to use it. So Google Sheets has the image function. It is available for everyone and it works just like it works in Excel. The other way is by installing a dedicated barcode font. So let me show you how that works. So here again, I have the same data and I want to generate these barcodes for these product IDs. So I'm going to first copy this and paste this data in column F where I want the barcodes. 
and now I'm going to change the font of these cells. Now you have to apply a barcode font and in Excel by default the barcode font is not available. So you will have to download the font and first install it and then we'll be able to use it in Excel. And the font that we are going to use is this one which is a barcode 39 font. It's, it's on Google Fonts website and I'm going to give you the link of uh, this website in the description so you can use it from there. Now I'm going to uh, download this font so I'm going to click on get font then click on download all. So this downloads the font on my system and I can then open this file. And in this file, I have this font which is barcode 39 regular.ttf. And when I double click on this, it is going to show me a dialog box like this. Now in this dialog box, you need to click on the install button. And when you do that, it is going to install this font in your system so that it is available on all your Microsoft applications. So I'm going to close this and I've already installed this in my Excel so it's available. But if you install it, then make sure that you close Excel and then open it again so that the font becomes available. Now I have these cells, I have selected these cells. Let's go to the home tab and here I'm going to change the font. So the font is Libre barcode 39 and when I apply this, it is going to show me these barcodes here and it is very small in size. So let's increase the font size, let's make it 48 and let's center align it. Now, as of now, you see the barcode, but this is not really a functional barcode. If you try and scan this through your phone, it is not going to work because there is something that you need to do when you're working with these fonts in Excel. And that is you need to add an asterisk before and after the text for which you want this barcode. And the reason for this is because code 39, when you're using it, there is a specific uh, encoding and formatting it needs so that it becomes readable in the scanner. And if I just try and, and tr use this barcode and try and scan this, it will scan it, but it will not show me anything because this is not a functional barcode. You can try this, you can point your phone camera on this barcode and see if it works for you. It will not work for you because this is not a proper barcode. So to convert this into a proper barcode, I'm going to change this. So let's remove these and I'm going to use a formula where what I just need to do is have the product ID, but then append asterisk before and after it. So let me do that in the formula bar. And here I would have first have a double quotes, then I would put the asterisk here. Now you're seeing the barcode here in cell in column F because I've already changed the font. So that's okay. And then have an ampersand, then this product ID, which is PRD001, then ampersand again, and then have an asterisk after this text. And now when I hit enter, it gives me this barcode and I can copy it for all these cells. Now try again, point your camera on this uh, on the screen on this barcode and it should give you PRD001 for the first barcode because now this is functional. Now there are a couple of limitations with this, this code which is code 39. First limitation is you need to have an asterisk before and after the text. Another one is that your text for which you want to create the barcode needs to be in uppercase. It cannot be in lowercase. If I make this lowercase, it will still give you the barcode, but this is not right. This is incorrect. This is not functional. So make sure that you always have it in uppercase. Now, what if you want to get a font that will give you the barcode in code 128 format? Now you can download that font, but it is very difficult to make it work because there is a lot of encoding there. There is something called as check some digit that needs to be added. And it is either a huge formula or a very complicated VBA code. So I don't want to get into it. And even when I made it, uh, made it and I made it to work, it wasn't very reliable. So I'm not going to show you that. If you need code 128 barcodes, it is better that you use the image function. If you do not have image function in Excel, you can use it in Google Sheets. Now, one more thing, if you share this file with someone who does not have this font installed on their system, they will not see the barcodes. They will see the regular text, which is PRD001. Because if you come to the cell and you select it, you'll see that in the formula bar, it still shows me the proper formula. It's just that we have applied a font that has changed the formatting in such a way that it looks like a barcode. So if you're sharing this file with someone and they don't have the font, either ask them to install the font or share it in a format where they don't have to maybe share it as a, share it as a PDF. So these are two ways you can quickly generate barcodes in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.